In this video, I will teach you how to create WhatsApp bot. Requirements for this tutorial make sure you have GitHub and Heroku accounts then a second device either a phone or a computer to scan the QR code from. I have included links in the description to register in GitHub and Heroku accounts if you don't have. Create the accounts then log in both of them. Thereafter, open GitHub account. First step scan the QR code, click on scan as seen in the setup procedure. Here use the other device to scan. These are the steps we are gonna follow. Let's start by scanning. Launch WhatsApp application, go to settings, then link devices. Allow and accept all the prompts that pop up. Thereafter, scan the QR code. After a successful link-up, you will be sent session ID. Copy the session ID. After copying the session ID, go back to GitHub page where you were previously. And now click on fork. If you don't have it you can click on create a new fork. In this case, I have already created, so now click on the username, mine is basher0706. After that, click on deploy. Enter your username. Then, click on deploy. Heroku page will be opened. Now fill the page as follows, under app name, write any name that is available. Scroll down and write the same name under app name. After that scroll down again, and paste the session ID you copied under session ID field. Now scroll up. Let's find the Heroku API key. Click on your profile on top right corner. Hold on account settings for few seconds, and a pop-up will appear. Now click on open incognito tab, scroll down and click on reveal API key. Copy it and revert back to the previous Heroku page, and paste the API key. After that, scroll down and click on Deploy App. Now wait for few minutes till it is successfully deployed.
follow each step in this video so that you don't mess up. After your app is successfully deployed, click on Manage App. Now click on Resources. That's second tab from left. Thereafter, click on Pen Like icon. Then turn on Dino. And confirm. Click on More located on top right corner. Here, click on View Logs. Now wait for few minutes to fully launch the application logs. After the logs are successfully completed, you will see connected at the bottom, and that means your bot is now ready for use. Open WhatsApp and test it by dot menu, and see the menu it has. Now the menu contains many commands you can use to manage WhatsApp groups. That's it guys, remember to like and share the video. Subscribe if the video was helpful. Otherwise.